Hi guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. This is my wrap up for November. I read a few physical books, ebooks, and my very first audiobook, and I am excited to share those with you today. I'll just give them to you in the order that I completed them. So the first book that I completed this month was The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I started this a few months ago and I don't know why it took me so long to complete it, but I'm very happy that I did. I really enjoyed it. I gave it like a four stars. Um, four out of five stars, but I definitely would say it's like a 4.5 or something like that. There were some things that I didn't totally care for, but for the most part, I really loved it. And I really liked that the chapters all seemed to be like independent stories. Like I felt like they could all be turned into like short little illustrated children's books. I thought it was really fun and adorable and I'm excited to have read it, like I said. The next book that I finished was Hot Zone and The Hot Zone. And I also started this one a few months ago and it's very long and very in-depth and just took me a long time to read, but I'm very happy that I finished it. It just covers a true story about an experience with Ebola or a few different strains of Ebola, but all culminating in one outbreak of Ebola in the United States. This is long before the current or most recent Ebola scare in the United States, and this didn't cross over to humans at all. So, or it technically did, but it didn't cause any kind of symptoms at all. It was just completely unknown. In their system. I mean, it was believed that they had Ebola, but they didn't have Ebola signs or whatever. It's not really relevant. Um, read it. It's really interesting if you're interested in anything like disease origin or anything like that. It was definitely interesting for them to follow it and try to see if they can find where the where Ebola started, which is still at this point unknown. Um, so I don't know what I gave it. Probably a four or a five because it was just really good. Even though it was a little slow, it was really good. Um, the next thing I read was Fun Home by Alison Bechtel. I really enjoyed this. It follows Allison as a child um, and her experiences with her father, who she believed was just like a straight monogamous man. It turns out that he was not uh, heterosexual or monogamous and her experiences with de de developing her own sexual identity and just uh, how her relationship with her father affected her like outlook on his death which she believes to be a suicide it's just really interesting but also really beautiful and insightful and I really love the art and I thought it was just a really good book uh, I don't know what I gave it but I'm sure it was probably like a five I really liked it next book I read was The Game by Terry Schott this was an ebook I got for free from the iTunes like iBook store or whatever I didn't like it I gave it a three stars and I every day I think and I'm like why did I give it a three stars it definitely wasn't deserving of that the story was really flat there was no like conflict and no like there was just it, there was no happiness and no conflict it just seemed like a very flat story and um I didn't like the dialogue at all it just didn't seem realistic and it's a fiction book but I mean the conversations should seem like conversations that people could have and there was just not even conflict in the conversations like everybody was so agreeable <laughs> it was just very weird um and it's about a video game where people they live full lives and they get experiences like marriage and children and educations and stuff like that uh while they're in like this coma state playing a video game they don't realize they're in a video game but then when they wake up they have all these memories and it seemed like a really interesting concept and it just didn't pan out i don't think like i did not enjoy it at all um and it ended like a chapter if you've read my review <laughs> that's like i said that it just ends like the end of a chapter it doesn't end like the end of a book there was no nothing was wrapped up huge like somebody just dies and it's just over it was very weird um the next one that i read was fantastic mr fox carl's nephew was uh the fantastic mr fox in a play at his school and we were going to see that i have not seen the movie or read the book so i figured i would read the book in preparation for it i really enjoy the book and i really enjoyed the play i'm very excited to see the movie soon it was a great time uh the next thing i read was the grown-up by jillian flynn or gillian flynn however that said I don't know but I really liked it I know some people you know there's a lot of mixed reviews on it I really loved how like crass it was in the beginning um I'm really into like super blunt honesty like she's where she talks about like hand jobs and stuff like that like she's not hiding anything um and it's so funny because she's a con person so uh I just love the way that she talks and the way she goes about discussing the things that have taken place. I really like the horror aspect of it and how 
I don't want to give it away, but I just really liked the scary bits. And the ending was very Gone Girl, very Jillian Flynn. I really enjoyed it, so I thought it was good. The next book I completed was More Than This by Patrick Ness. Uh, this is my first Patrick Ness book ever. I don't really, I had no idea what it was about going into it, but I liked the cover and I know it's a bad reason, but I just really dug it. Yellow, yellow like pulls me in and um, I just was really interested in it. So I picked it up and I read it and I was enjoying it, but getting to the point where I was about to not enjoy it like I really it was like if another character is not introduced soon I'm putting it down um and then another character was introduced like it at the perfect point for me <laughs> and um I really enjoyed it I thought it was sad but exciting at times very interesting but I have a lot of questions <laughs> a lot of questions uh and I don't want to like say any of them just in case you haven't read it but I really want to know about pregnancy uh, and things like that in this world. But um, I really enjoyed it and it really opened me up to reading books by Patrick Ness because I have one other one and you'll see that in, a, in my next video. But um, I've had the other book for a while and just couldn't bring myself to read it because it was not like the synopsis was not interesting me at all uh, but I'm going to read it now this other book and you'll see that in my next video but um I really enjoyed it I thought it was a lot of fun and then I read fangirl and I went into fangirl not expecting to like it uh that's not true I went into fangirl expecting to like it but not love it about halfway through I was still in the just liking it just you know getting through it um and about 75% of the way through I was like I could I could say that I love this book like I was entertained I really liked the characters I thought it was really cute I'm interested in reading more by Rainbow Rowell and I just I felt good reading the book and I liked the way that they handled uh Kath's anxiety uh specifically the way male Levi I was gonna say male main character especially how uh the way Levi handles her crazy as she calls it and um I just really liked it. I thought it was tons of fun and adorable and I'm definitely anticipating reading some other Rainbow Rowell books. I don't know that I'll read Carry On just because I've heard mixed reviews um, but one that stood out to me a lot and one comment that's standing out to me a lot that I've heard people say is it, s it seems like you know it takes place the eighth year of school and it seems like the eighth book you know like you're missing so much before that. And I just don't know if I'm going to be able to jump on that train. But um, I'm going to read Landline maybe next. I think that one seems like something I'd be interested in. Uh, but I'm excited to check out some other stuff by her. And then lastly, I listened to my first audiobook. I went to visit a friend who lives about three hours away from me. And um, so I had a six hour round trip drive so I listened to Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling and I think this was probably the best book for me to choose or the best type of book uh, for me to choose just because I think that listening to somebody tell me a story might have gotten a little old but listening to somebody just tell me about their life uh, was just more interesting. It felt like somebody was having a conversation with me instead of somebody reading me a, a bedtime story or something like that so I really enjoyed it. I liked the book. I really love Mindy Kaling. Um, I love listening to her talk. I loved listening to BJ Novak talk, even though it was very brief. And I just really, I really enjoyed it. And I'm happy that I've read both of her books now. And um, I'm definitely anticipating listening to some other audiobooks. I'm going to listen to the Tina Fey one, maybe the Amy Poehler book, if that is an audiobook. I haven't looked into it. And then uh, the Felicia Day book, You're Never Weird Online Almost or whatever. I really like all of those women and I really like the fact that they are people that I'm familiar with so I can find myself probably enjoying them a little bit easier because they're voices and personalities that I'm familiar with. So so that's what I read in the month of November. Uh, let me know what you read if you've read any of the same books as me or anything like that and uh, give me a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram same as it is here. I'll have that in the description below and uh, I hope you have a great day.